What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Last time we got to Falsen, the town of Falsen. We left behind Flora, and we're looking around. We did get a clue that we might find something about the Elysian Box if we go to the Herzen Museum. So that's where we're headed. Oh! Go back. What's this? Have a look at these photos of the town, Luke. Whoever took them clearly has a fine eye for detail. But if you look closely, you can see that the pictures are chronologically out of order. Do you think you could figure out where each picture belongs? Okay, number 72, scramble photos. Four photographs decorate the wall of Joseph's photo studio. Each photo depicts the same area and was taken at the exact same time of day. However, each photo was taken at a different point in time, and if you look carefully, you can figure out the order in which these pictures were taken. Uh, okay... Let's see, is there some construction? No. The door color is different, that's one thing. What else is different? Maybe something in the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, let's see, for one thing... There's this building, which is in some, but not all. It's gone in these. These these doors are blue. This isn't. There's a paper here. Nothing on the... Hold on. Let me see. Let me go back. Oh, it must have been fixed. Okay, hold on. I bet C or D is the first one. I just gotta figure out which one's first. One has a light, the others don't. Oh, okay. Okay. C is first. Because there's no lantern. See this lantern? There's no lantern. So they constructed it because it's in all the other ones. This is number one. This is number two. Uh... Number three is the broken wall. Number three is the broken wall. And number four is the one with the spackle over it. So... C. D. B. A. Let's see if this works. Yeah! Piece of cake. In C, the streetlight has yet to be installed, but in D, the light has been built. In B, there's a new building in the background, and the restaurant's window is broken. Finally, in A, the broken window scene in B has been patched up, and some of the lights in the restaurant sign have been burned out. What's more, the door of the photo studio has been painted a different color. There we are! If these photos are any indication, False Sense is quite a rich and lengthy history. How neat! With enough of these pictures, I bet you can see exactly how the town developed. You bring up an interesting point, Luke. But if these photos are that old, why do they look so new? Now that you mention it, I suppose they do look new. Normally with shots this old, the image is a bit more deteriorated. I wonder what method this studio uses to keep these photos so immaculate. My, these photos look stunningly new for their age. How do you manage that? Sorry, sir, but that's, uh, well, a bit of a trade secret. That's it? You suck. Screw this guy. Whatever his name was. No hit coins. Oh, all right. What is that? Oh, it's a dog with a diaper. Named Precious. He doesn't appear to be in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Hey there, fellow. Grarf! Good heavens, Luke, are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Indeed. Let's find another way through town. Passing through here is a rather difficult right now. This must be the museum. But the gate shut tight. I don't think they're open right now. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. The professor and Luke decide to search the town for more information. 
Okay, I guess we'll wander around. Greetings, strangers. Let me guess. You come here seeking fame and fortune. Actually, we're searching for an item called the Elysian Box. Does the name sound familiar? Wow, now that's a fantastic name. Here's a puzzle for sharing that great name with me. So generous. Number 117, three couples. A yellowed photograph shows three couples. In the photo, no man is standing directly above his spouse. Why? Why? We okay. One of the three women, two are sisters and are sitting next to each other. The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. Everyone in the picture is wearing a hat. What? No, they're not. Okay. Save the husband of the younger sister. Ah. The woman unrelated to the photo is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. The woman unrelated to the other two is sitting in front of the younger sister's husband. And the younger sister's husband is the man without a hat. So, unrelated. Unre oh, I hate writing on this thing. God, that looks awful. I can't read that. Okay. Um, younger. Now, let's see. Um, two are sisters sitting next to each other. Yes, these two are sisters. The elder sister's husband is the man without a mustache. So, elder. And they don't sit in front of their spouses, so this is the elder. Which means it's sort of paired like A, A, B, B, C, C. Alright. Can you find the man in this bunch who is married to neither sister? B. B's the man. This should do the trick. Huh. Wonderful. The answer is B. Finding the answer to this one just requires close reading. You know the elder sister's husband has no mustache, so he must be A. You also know that the younger sister's husband has no hat, so he's obviously C. With those two choices eliminated, the answer is clear. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the elder sister is E, the little sister is D, the last woman is half married to B. Good man, good man. Good job, and good luck finding that whatchamacallit, you know, the thingy with the great name. I bet when you open it, a genie pops out and grants you a wish or something. Neato! Oh, well, thanks for the time anyways. Do you see that watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? Where? It's not- <laughs> look at that face. It's not every day I see new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Yes, in a way, but we're not here to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? Mm, no, that's the first I've ever heard of it. I wish I had some information for you. I just can't let visitors to our great town go away empty-handed. It's not a keychain, but please take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir. Thanks, creepy man. 85, the missing shape. Five shapes are arranged in a sequence, but the fourth shape is missing. Okay. Use the four visible shapes to determine whether A, B, or C should be inserted as the fourth shape in the sequence. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Use the four visible shapes to determine A, B, or C. What's the- what's the pattern here? Is it rotating? Oh, wait. Is it rotating? If it was, on which side would it be rotating? Oh god, okay, I gotta really visualize this in my head. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. 
<sighs> is it coming down? Is it like down one side to the left? Or, hold on, son of a gun. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. It's B. This should do the trick. Huh, wonderful. I was so close though. I liked my original idea. The numbers hidden in each shape determine the sequence for this order. Nice work there, fellows. I hate to burst your bubble, but... Oh wait, what, what's the voice I gave him? I hate to burst your bubble, but if you're a lead on this Elysian box led you here, you may be out of luck. See, many of the residents who are false scene experts skedaddled a few years ago. It all started over a strange rumor that spread through the town like wildfire. So even if we're in the right place, there may be no one left to ask. What was this rumor? Some silly thing about a curse. I'm not entirely clear on it, to be honest. But I often find myself wondering where all those people who left false ends ended up. I often wonder because I killed them all. Where's this watchtower he's talking about? I don't see no watch- Oh! This whole place is covered in garlic, and it definitely smells like it. Garlic is good, man! Are you crazy? Yes, it's very pungent. It's a good thing I brought my handkerchief. My eyes are watering. My nose hurts just being in here. Finally, some customers! Come in! It's been months since anyone came by to shop. My shop's been out of favor with the townsfolk recently. You haven't sold anything in months? So everything you have is either rotten or you're replacing it when you have no customers. That's just poor business sense. I can see why, or rather, I can smell why. It's hard to breathe, let alone shop around all this garlic. So it smells, big whoop! It's not here to class up the shop, you know. It's here for protection. We got what you might call a bit of a vampire problem here in town, and garlic keeps in the way, see? Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? See that castle over there? That's where the freaky guy lives. At least, that's what people say. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. What watchtower? Should I go left or right? Hold on, hold on. Shut up! Gia! That scared me silly, Professor. What's making that awful ruckus? I don't know, but I think it's coming from right above us. Quick, Luke, up the stairs. Go darn vampires! Get off my property! Are you alright, mister? Who goes there? You don't need to tell me. I know vampire henchmen when I see them. Wait a second. What are you talking about? We just heard a scream and came to investigate. Say what you will, Sonny, but it won't do you no good. I see through your vampire lies. If you really want me to believe you're not vampires, you'll solve this puzzle and you'll do it quick. Nice and quick like. 76 top of the tower. In a quiet town, there's a tower that commands a view of the whole town. Since you can see the whole town from the tower, logic dictates you should be able to see the top of the tower from anywhere in town. However, there's one place in town shown on the map, below from which you can clearly have no chance of seeing the top of the tower. You mean from the tower itself? Hmm, let's see if this works. Ha, that was so easy! Layton's apprentice strikes again! Frickin' knew it. 
Good thinking. From inside the tower, there's no way to see the top of it. Sure, you may be able to stick your neck out a window and look up, but you still won't be able to see the very top. Pretty good for a vampire. Unless you're not one of the bloodsuckers underlings after all. If that's how it is, then listen to me when I tell you, best keep an eye on the castle over yonder. It's the nest of one of the most fearsome undead creatures around. A real, live vampire. A real live vampire, you say? Don't make me say it again, buddy! I'm not your buddy, guy. Rumors have surfaced regarding a vampire said to live in the castle at the edge of town. Terrified by such talk, not a soul in full sense dares to draw near the castle. Could a vampire actually be living up in Herzen Castle? Maybe, maybe. Alright, adios! This place gives me a bad feeling. Who even knows what's down the path anyway? From what I can see, it's just an expanse of wilderness. Let's leave it be for now. If you say so, I bet there's something important there. Hello, you two! Imagine seeing you here, headed to the north side of town, are you? I'm the mailman! I guess so, what's up there anyhow? Oh, nothing really, just some old houses. I got letters from folks in Dropstone for them. Wow, there are people from Dropstone sending letters all the way out here? That's what I thought at first too, but something connects Dropstone to this place. It's hard to describe it in words, so I'll just leave it at that. Whoops, I got a dash. The mail can't be late. Mr. Parcel, please wait a moment. He didn't even look back once. Must be incredibly focused on delivering the mail. Quite a perplexing individual, that one. But never mind him. For now, we must focus on our investigation. Wait, where... Where are we supposed to go now? Uh, we've been all to those places. We've been here. Oh, we can go to the right. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, we can go south. Wait, no, we can't go south, can we? Hmm? Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. I do hope you found what you're looking for. I wish. I told Samuel to track it down, but the boy's about as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. It leaves wrinkles in that distinguished brow of yours. What do you say, Mr. B? Would you like to come inside and unwind for a bit? <laughs> Sex. Do you see that? Mr. Beluga just went into that cabaret. Let's say yes. Uh, Luke, yes, we better we better investigate closely. Hmm. And speak with all the women, of course. But it's been 19 and a half minutes, so I'm gonna end the videos here. So next time we'll go into the bordello. Bye-bye!